Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my delicious southern style fried catfish. So look, go ahead and grab your fillets and let's get started. Alright y'all, so look, I'm starting off with about 3 pounds of catfish. You can also use suede as well. It's about the same you guys, but look, make sure it's clean, make sure it is filleted. And I'm adding in 2 tablespoons of yellow mustard. Number one question. Is my fish gonna taste like mustard? No ma'am, okay? Now if you put a whole lot, it probably will. But the mustard acts as a binder, a tenderizer, and it's just damn good, okay? It's a southern thing. So go ahead and get your mustard on there, coat it well, and I'm gonna add about one to two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning. Y'all know, come on now. Come on, we know by now that I'm gonna throw the Cajun seasoning in there. And I'm just seasoning this very, very lightly. And some of y'all might say that's not that's not enough seasoning, baby. I'm seasoning the fish and the flour, okay? We don't want it to be too salty. So we got to have balance, all right? So once you get that lightly seasoned, season, cover it, set it aside, and now we're going to work on our mixture, okay? The fish fry. So I like to use a gallon Ziploc bag. It's disposable. It's clean. I can throw it away when I'm done, okay? And in this bag, we're going to put in one package of our fish fry but wait a minute we have two kinds here the seasoned crispy or the new orleans style i like to use the crispy kind because honey i like my fish fried crispy and extra hard now the new orleans style is really good it has that lemon pepper flavor but it's not as crispy as this one okay but look i'm gonna add that whole package in it's a 10 ounce package and the best thing about it that one package can go in this one bag and i don't have to worry about the box later okay but look we're gonna go ahead and season this it is seasoned but i like to season it a little bit more okay so i'm adding my paprika i got a little bit of cajun seasoning going in there i got a half a teaspoon of black pepper and you really can add these seasonings to your liking but you don't want to you don't want to add too much okay i'm adding in a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder please be careful on that because garlic powder does burn when cooked and i'm also adding in a teaspoon of onion powder a half teaspoon of mustard powder that is totally optional okay if you don't want to put that in there you don't have to and a fourth teaspoon of baking powder which is also optional but the baking powder helps to make this extra 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 crispy okay so look, once you get all your seasonings in there close the bag and mix it by just shaking it up okay zip it up shake it up and make sure it's all incorporated all mixed together and that is it okay so look now on to the breading we're gonna go ahead and take our seasoned fish and we're gonna place it into our seasoned breading and you just shake it up. If you gotta do it one at a time, baby, do it one at a time, but you don't wanna overcrowd the bag. Now this gallon Ziploc bag with that one package and that size fish, I probably put two to three, maybe three at the most in each bag and it'll coat it pretty good, okay? But if you put too much in there, your fish gonna be wet, your seasoning gonna get wet and it's not gonna fry well, okay? But remember, whenever you cook this fish like this, whenever you bread the fish, you want to make sure that you shake off all of the excess. If you don't, it's going to clump up, it's going to burn, and it's not going to stick. You're just going to have a big funky mess, okay? We don't want that. All right? So look, once you bread your fish, just let it sit in the bag. It's cool. Ain't nothing going to go wrong with it, okay? Add you some oil to a skillet. We're over medium heat. And you want to make sure that heat is hot. And if you're wondering what that is, that's a scallion, baby. Okay, I just put that in there to control the smell and to get a little greasy little flavor, child. That's the southern thing, too. But that's not required. But here, you want to lay your fish into the skillet. Make sure your oil is hot, okay? Make sure it is not too hot, but it's hot. I'm not using a thermometer, so I can't tell you how hot the grease is because, baby, at this point, I just know, okay? You can't live in Alabama and not know how to fry fish, all right? We just know, <laughs> But um, make sure your grease is hot. And while that first batch is on, go ahead and get the rest of that fish and place it into your bag. Go ahead and make sure that it's seasoned so you don't burn that grease or the contents that's in the grease while you're trying to cook the rest of this fish, okay? So go ahead and get that shook up. Make sure it's ready to go so when it's time to take these out, you can just slap those in there too, all right? So look, you want to fry it until it gets hard enough that you can turn it and it does not break. That normally takes about five to maybe five to seven minutes, depending on how big your um, fillets are. Now, mine are pretty big, so I cook this for about five to seven minutes. 
um, on the first side and then about three more minutes on the next side. But you see how when you pick that up, it doesn't even move? Baby, that's called fried hard, okay? Now the key to frying fish, you wanna make sure you fry it long enough so that bread and sticks and that grease is nice and hot and everything is just in place. I mean, I really can't explain it no other kind of way, honey. You just gotta do it, like I tell you, okay? And once you get it nice and crispy and it's to your liking, honey, take it out that oil and look at that. Perfectly fried catfish, okay? So look, let's go ahead and plate this up. And there you have it guys, our delicious southern style fried catfish honey. Y'all see the potato salad. If you haven't tried out my potato salad recipe honey, what are you doing? Go ahead and check it out. And you know we had the french fries and the white bread on the side. And the ketchup, mustard, and the hot sauce was not far away, okay? So look, I want to thank y'all for watching as always. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I want you to also check out my description box for some extra facts and tidbits, okay? I got you. And I want to thank y'all again. If you try the recipe out, let me know. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video.